we right. got a Wrexham update. Yep. That's right. Um, so Wrexham, they obviously they've they've earned their promotion already to um, to English Football League One. Uh, they did get the win against Crew Alexandra three nil. So they're they're kind of locked into third place. They may get up to second place, but there's only one game left. Uh, they're uh, and it doesn't really matter because the top three move on anyway. So they've they've already locked it in. They're playing Stockport, who is the um, the team in first place. Uh, so this is a game that does not matter. You just want to get through it healthy and then enjoy the benefits of winning and moving on with your life and uh, going on to the next league. And uh, EFL one is kind of where we talked about this before. That's kind of where I felt like this team should be. And so they're going to probably be here in EFL one for a little while. Um, you know, and, and as the teams that are toward the bottom of the next league up, those are the ones that'll come down. Right. So because of relegation, um, I think there's probably going to end up somewhere in the middle uh, next year. Uh, they have to make some tweaks. And I was listening to um, the men and blazers podcast and they were talking about Wrexham specifically. And uh, they were talking just about, how this was like this was their their first goal all along was to get promote get back to EFL one and then just kind of work it out and see where it's going from there. Um, you'd be uh, like like they they got to get the, uh, the the stands built and finished and they got to yeah you know increase money revenue streams uh, through there and once they figure out what that baseline is of money that's when you can really figure out who you can sign and what you know, and make all your moves. And if there's a team, if they find that they have a team that's good enough to actually like push for a spot in the championship without breaking the bank, then, you know, go for it, obviously. And I think about, it's kind of like, um, you know, the, like when the A's were on a good spot, like, and in 2014, uh, and they finally, like Billy Bean finally got permission to actually go for it and, make a couple of trades to try to improve the team and spend a little more money. Um, it ended up not working for the A's that year, obviously. And then they, you know, went to shit afterward, but uh, it's kind of the same thought process. I think is uh, if you're, if you find the team is better than you expect it to be, uh, then go you can it. go for it. But if, if, if they're not, then just kind of be content to hang out in EFL two in the middle. Um, being in the middle is not a necessarily a bad thing in, uh, football like uh, across the pond the, the, you know we, we talk about being stuck in the middle like in the nba or hockey or baseball like it's a really bad thing because you don't get those good draft picks and and you're not getting championships yeah. or playoff there's there's none of that in uh in european football there's no playoffs per se so if you're just kind of no in the draft, middle right they, they yeah, you, there's no draft they all have their, their own, own academies players. they yeah. You know, they sign their players like there's different rules for all that. So being in the middle is not necessarily the worst thing, at least in, at least while you try to find some stability. Yeah, it sounds like, you know, for Wrexham, like obviously staying competitive, you know, signing some guys to maybe to stay in EFL one. That'd be great. But as some of the income comes in, it's you're you're developing your academies, you're developing young players. You get, you're developing, you're scouting, you're getting guys right. out there finding younger talent mm -hmm. uh, because you hear every few years that uh, some soccer club found this guy and he's he, he's changing the franchise. You know, you're, right. you're always on the hunt for that franchise altering player. And it seems like that's how Wrexham is going to have to do it is find their guys and hopefully be able to retain them uh, because yeah. you're you found them first. You know? they're, and they're finally they're at a league now where um the, the 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 money on the ownership side is getting a lot closer to where they are so you're going to actually be competing for a lot of the same players in the same talent pool with people at your own level now so it's right. going to level off a little bit at this point they're i mean they're not you know saudi billionaires that bought chelsea or or you know or or newcastle united or whatever you know so so these are these are obviously they're Hollywood actors. They're very famous ones. And Ryan Reynolds is making a ton of money doing other side projects. But they're not, you know, they're not Saudi billionaire or oil billionaires. So no, there's, there's definitely a uh, uh, like, like there's a, a limit. Balance, I guess. Yeah, there's a limit to what <laughs> they can do right now. And obviously we talked about 
Um, just like the, the leagues in general in England have a specific um, cap on what you can spend just based on what you earn. So right. uh, any money you bring in through sponsorships and stuff, that's how you supplement that kind of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Wrexham, congratulations to them. They got one game left. They're going to be promoted. We're definitely yep. going to be keeping an eye on it. And they're coming to the West Coast uh, in the uh, during the summer. As That's well. right. That's yeah, right. So, so um, we kind of keep an eye on that.